250 summons. That's what it takes to guaranteed lust. A limited hero who only shows up once in a blue moon. But is she really worth it? Spoiler alert, yes. Very so yes. Lust can transform your nightmare council team into an unstoppable engine of rage and devastation. With her ability to strike both enemies and allies, boosting damage with every lash, she's one of the most unique and powerful heroes in Watcher's Realms. If you're ready to unleash her full potential, build her right, and dominate the hardest bosses, then stick around. I'm going to show you how to turn Lust into an ultimate secret weapon. Alright guys, so Lust is getting a boosted rate up banner with a 15x chance to summon her. And I've got to say, this is one of the most exciting banners we've seen so far in a very long time. Not only is she a limited hero, meaning once her banner is gone, she's gone. But she's also guaranteed after 250 rare summon crystals. I mean, yeah guys, 250 summons is a lot. But hey, it's Lust. You don't just let her pass by like some common hero. Right guys? Lust is one of those heroes that turn battles upside down. She can hit allies, trigger sinful lash, and just keep boosting her damage until she's a total beast. If there was ever a time to stock up those summoning crystals, it's now. But guys, a word of warning. If you do pour her, you're going to want to build her right because she's not a hero you just stole into a team without a plan. In this video, we will go over why Lust is so strong, the best gear and stats to maximize her potential, her top artifacts picks, synergies with other Nightmare Council heroes like Arrogance, and which content she dominates in. And trust me, by the end of this, you're going to want Lust on your team more than you want that extra cup of coffee in the morning. Lust isn't just another flashy limited hero in Watchers of Realms, she's is a game changer. Especially if you're running a nightmare council team. But what makes her so strong? Let's break it down everybody. First off, Lust's kit is all about raw explosive damage in synergy with the nightmare council faction. Her talent alone makes her very deadly. Every two ultimates from the nightmare council allies or herself she triggers her signature move, the Sinful Lash, which basically deals massive damage to a random enemy. It's like having a free damage nuke go off every single time your team ultimates go off. And yeah guys, her basic attack, it's no ordinary as well. Let's attack enemies twice at random with a little twist. She can hit her own allies with a 15% chance, dealing a small portion of their current HP as damage. Now, you might be thinking, why would I want her to hit my own team? But trust me guys, when she hits a Nightmare Council ally, she gets a 50% chance to restore rage for them. That means more ultimates, more sinful lashes, and way more damage flying around. It's chaos, but in the best way possible. Then guys, there is her Estasy, which is her passive, which stacks attack speed every time sinful lash is triggered. As her speed increases, she starts lashing faster and faster, which means even more damage and quicker rage regeneration for your team. Combine that with her Agonizing Delight, which is another passive of her, and Lust becomes even deadlier. Every time she hits her own allies with the basic attack, she gains a 30% damage boost for 5 seconds. And if the allied is from the Nightmare Council, boom, even more rage regen. It's like she's turning self damage into a turbo charge buff. But we're not done yet, everybody. Her ultimate punishing race is where Lust really shines. For every 20 seconds, every single basic attack triggers four lashes in a row, and she gets a 40% damage boost. This is where Lust unleashes her full burst potential. In the 20 seconds, bosses melt, enemies vanish, and the damage just keep piling up. If you've got her bond skill unlocked with arrogance, it gets even better. Her ultimate now deals 20% extra damage and every hit inflicts burning. That's an insane amount of extra damage just for pairing her up with arrogance. What is the crazy part you might ask? 
Lust doesn't just excel on her own. She makes the whole entire nightmare faction stronger. Every ultimate your faction heroes pop off, it boosts Lust's damage output and her sinful flashes trigger more often, making her the perfect centerpiece for a team that dives on synergy. In short, Lust is an ultimate high risk, high reward hero. She deals ridiculous amount of damage, buffs herself by hitting allies, speeds up the whole team's ultimate spam, and with her ultimate active, she's an absolute monster in a single target burst damage. If you're serious about taking down the toughest bosses or ramping up your DPS in difficult content, Lust is a must-have hero, and when you pair her up with the right team, there's almost no limit to what she can do. Now that we know how powerful Lust is, let's talk about how to gear her up to truly unlock her potential. Lust's damage scales incredibly well with the right gear, so you want to focus on sets and stats that amplify her burst and multi-strike capabilities. For Lust, the best setup you can aim for is a two-piece Warlord set and a three-piece Inferno War set. Why? The Warlord set boosts her attack speed, which is crucial for triggering Sinful Lash more often and getting more lashes off during her ultimate. Remember guys, the faster she attacks, the more damage she deals, and the more rage for your Nightmare Council allies to restore. The Inferno War set, on the other hand, is significantly increases her attack, which is perfect for maximizing Lust's single target burst. With these two set combined, Lust becomes an absolute machine for shredding through enemies. But, if you haven't farmed up tier 2 gear sets yet, don't worry because there are solid alternatives as well. You can go with a 2-piece Calamity set for an additional attack percentage, paired up with a 3-piece Wisdom set to boost her attack. This setup will pack a punch and keep your Lust competitive, especially if you're still grinding for the higher tier gear. When it comes to the stats, Lust, just like all the other DPS, thrives on a combination of attack bonus, crit damage, and attack speed. For her Bango, Amulet, and Wing, you want 2x for attack bonus main stats and one time of the crit damage main stat. This setup ensures that every hit Lust delivers, especially during her ultimate, hits hard. As for the substats, focus on the attack speed, attack bonus, crit damage, and crit weight. Attack speed is especially important because it allows Lust to hit more frequently, trigger Sinful Lash faster, and deals out huge bursts of damage in a short period of time. Lust's multi-strike attack style, compared with her relatively high base attack speed, makes her thrive with gear that boosts her attack rate. The more quickly she can lash out, the more rage your Nightmare Council heroes will regenerate keeping their ultimates flowing and increasing the overall DPS output of your whole entire team. To sum it up though guys, 2-piece Warlord plus a 3-piece Inferno Roar is your go-to setup for Lust, focusing on the attack speed and bonus damage to maximize her output. With the right stats, Lust can single-handedly carry your team to victory in the boss fights and beyond. For Luz, her exclusive artifact, Captivation of Burning Desire, is hands down the best choice to significantly boost her DPS. This artifact enhances her critical damage and allows Luz to trigger Sinful Lash multiple times, perfectly complementing her kit synergy with the multi-strike attacks. The extra Sinful Lashes are essential for increasing her attack speed and burst damage especially when paired up with a Nightmare Council allied, leading to much higher DPS output. During the Searing Obsession event, everyone has a chance to earn this artifact, so it's highly recommended to prioritize obtaining it while the Lust banner is active. If you don't have her exclusive artifact, the next best option is Wailing Skull. This artifact has the chance to summon a Shadow Guard, which inherits a portion of Lust's high attack and attack speed significantly boosting her single target DPS. While it's a great alternative, it still falls short to her exclusive in terms of synergy and raw damage output. Therefore guys, make sure to target the Lust exclusive artifact during this event for the best performance.
Lust work best with the Nightmare Council Heroes as her kit enhances faction synergy. Her ability to restore rage and triggered sinful lash more often boosts the overall DPS of the team. The first option here I have to mention is Arrogance, her man of course. Lust and Arrogance is a definitely powerhouse duo. Unlocking their Flame of Desire bond skill boosts Lust ultimate damage and inflict burning on the enemies. If Arrogance has his exclusive artifact, Eye of the Mockery, their combined DPS is unmatched, making them a perfect combo for the boss fights like Dragon and Semra. The next two guys is Salazar and Valeria. These two high single target DPS heroes benefit greatly from Lust Rage Restoration and Damage Boost. With more frequent ultimates, they can output consistently burst damage, perfect for taking down tough bosses. Other than that guys, most of the Nightmare Console heroes will definitely benefit from Lust Kits thanks to her Faction Wage Regen and extra Sinful Lashes, leading to higher DPS and the ultimate uptime. In short everybody, pair Lust with Arrogance, Zalazar or Valeria for devastating results, especially in boss fights where the burst damage and ultimate uptime are key. <laughs> When it comes to where Lust excels, she truly shines in high DPS, single target boss fights, making her one of the best picks for the content that requires quick bursts of damage and the ultimate uptime. Let's go over her top content areas. Lust is a meta defining hero for Dragon and the Simbra boss. Her multi strike attack boosted sinful lashes procs during the ultimate allowed her to dish out massive burst damage. Pairing her up with high DPS Nightmare Council members like Arrogance and Salazar, maximize your damage output. Thanks to her Faction Wage Regen, these heroes can use their ultimate more frequently, which is crucial for boss fights. Another game mode that I personally think she's great in is the Immortal Codex The Lord of Sticks boss. Lust is an exceptional pick for this content because her multi-strikes are perfect to break the Lord of Sticks shield as fast as possible because that's all about it. You gotta break the shield guys to like break him and uh, make him weakened. But yeah guys, she's good there for the Immortal Codex boss. Her ability to increase her attack speed and dish out extra damage with the multi-strike makes her one of the top heroes to use for a quick high damage burst. In conclusion guys, Lush is a limited and a must-have hero for any Nightmare Council team. Her incredible multi-strike damage, ability to boost ally rage, and the powerful ultimate synergy making her a essential pick for the PvE and the boss fights like Dragon and Samra. With her exclusive artifact enhancing her even further, Lust is a true game changer. With the upcoming boosted rate up, this is your chance to secure one of the best hero in the whole entire game. Make sure you guys take advantage of it. Thank you guys all so much for watching and if you guys found this guide helpful, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more Watchers of Realms content. You guys are great, you guys are amazing, you guys are awesome as always. Until next time guys, let's all strive to become better every single day. Subscribe if you want to win your lust this weekend and yeah, peace.